How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here and today we have a new game for you to talk about. One of the greatest video games ever created in gaming history. We're going to compare it how it plays now in that in 2018 compared to how it did back in 2007. And that game I'm talking about is Halo 3. Do the game mechanics still hold up in today's era of gaming? How about the transition from Halo 2 to Halo 3 in that comparison because that was a big jump as well. So let's jump in and play some Halo 3 and you guys can find for yourself through watching this video. Alright, and of course the first game we get into is going to be Team Slayer BRs on the pit. I mean, what a magical combination to start out this playthrough right here, guys. And that's a great way to start out the game. How did I die so instantly right there? So yeah the pit one of the best maps in my opinion probably if not the best map ever created in halo history i just love how this map plays out it's just like it's just one of those maps that just like it just it just plays right it just plays so well the gameplay that it creates is just unique and it's very fair kind of map as well because of how symmetrical it is and i think that's why it's like one of the most prominent like mlg maps in the game i see you buddy yeah i see it look at that mm, that crispy hit detection right there oh you gotta pick your head up again please 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 no okay oh man so one thing i do f honestly feel about halo 3 even though this game was released back in 2007 is that the visuals on this game still hold up rather well especially even you know like in the campaign as well it's like because you can get away with a little better lighting in that game i will also tell you that i found a match super quickly when searching for halo 3 on this game guys right the new mcc update it literally took me like 30 seconds or less to find a match which is amazing i mean compared to where it was before Oh my gosh, you, you can go make yourself a sandwich compared to how it was in the, you know, before this update, which is fantastic. So I just want to really just give bravo to 343 for taking the time and effort to fixing this game and giving the true experience that you were supposed to have back in 2014. I will also say that the hit detection is a lot better with this version of the MCC as well for Halo 3. Oh my god, there's too many of you guys and they're all so mad at me right now. Oh my god, but you got wrecked! Oh my god. So comparing it compared to Halo 2, uh, a lot changed. Obviously going from hit scan, which is personally my favorite way of hit detection for it to work in Halo, to a projectile weapons where you have to lead your shot. So it definitely adds that level of skill to the game where if you got if you play Halo 3 a lot, you understand like how the mechanics and the and the game system works you can lead your shot and be far better than anybody else who's probably like some noob at the game who just wants to shoot and click at the guy though i will say it does have its downfall of being a projectile because it does lead to its moments of going like didn't i shoot that guy and you know sometimes you might feel like you got cheated out of a kill because well one the lack of hit markers for sure kind of leaves things a little more questionable about the hit detection in this game as well oh my god this guy is strafing me so hard like right there what? as you can tell i wasn't leading my shots there and the guy was strafing me hard and i just completely choked and that's just that difference of skill gap right here halo 3 is definitely i'd say one of the hardest halo games to master just due to uh the way the hit detection works in this game as well as the weaponry because i think a lot of the weapons kind of like got downgraded from a halo 2 weapon the weapon list wasn't as viable as i'd say back it was back in halo 2 days Oh, Crouch and wants a sword. Come on, guy. I see this guy on the radar. Please charge me. No, he's just gonna back up. Play it smart. You would. You would have a brain. Let me shoot you in the back, though. There we go. And I never, I've never understood why the change from hit scan to projectile when it came to like the battle rifle and other weapons in Halo 3 to Halo 2. Maybe it's just the map design from the playtesting. Bungie thought that, you know, this doesn't really work out too well for the game that we're creating. I will also say that the uh, Halo 3 sniper rifle is without a doubt the hardest sniper rifle to use in the Halo franchise. Oh, come on, let me get this kill. Oh my god, the guy got away right there. Whew, that's that projectile coming into play right there. I wasn't able to line my shots up properly and get that kill. Ah, eh, we got him with the nade though, so that's all good. And just, I feel like the hit, the hit detection for the sniper rifle in Halo 3 is a little too f unforgiving. Uh, I think that... It's just like, it's a little too hard, especially on a console, to hit those headshots that you need to hit. I got another kill, man, nice. Oh no, you're gonna shoot me, so don't, don't, don't back it up, back it up, there we go. Oof, somehow I lived through that. Like, you have to be exactly on the guy's head, 100% for it to count as a headshot. So a lot of times I kind of found myself just kind of going, you know, getting a body shot, and then, oh my god, he smacked me so hard on that one. But going for the body shot, switching to the battle rifle and getting a quick, you know, headshot on the guy. Uh, just because I think it's just like it's a little too unforgiving 
that kind of makes it a little less fun to use. Oh, got gotcha you with that name there, but oh, he has a sword. I want it. Give it to me. Oh, but I'm dead. Here we got another map here. We got Snowbound, which is, thank God, they gave us the boundless version of Snowbound. If you guys don't remember, there used to be a barrier right there on that wall. And I remember back in the days when Halo 3 first launched, that was super annoying to play against when it came to, uh, you know, gunfights because people would just be, you know, playing a little cat and mouse around that wall window right there. And it'd just be so annoying. So I'm glad they had gave you the boundless version of Snowbound in this game. I will say, though, that I feel like in Halo 3 that the game became a, felt a little bit less responsive and maybe a back to a little bit of that floaty feeling that we had back in the uh, Halo Combat Evolved days. Uh, just for one, for the head detection being a projectile and not being so accurate. And also just, I feel like the gameplay is a little bit slower. I think the maps got a little bit bigger as well. And so then it kind of slowed down the gameplay a little bit. Though, like, oh, yeah, nice little kill right there. See right there, I was leading my shots and that's exactly what you want to do when playing this game. But, it's, but the reason why I feel like people widely hold Halo 3 as like the best Halo ever created is because of the total package that it came in. What is that it had an amazing epic campaign that was super fun to play. You know, such memorable moments that make you want to come back and play again. Brought in a whole new feature that I don't believe was ever in a console game before in Forge for a map editor, which is amazing. And really hit it out of the park with that one and just created a whole new genre within Halo's community. The custom games were, uh, of course, fantastic, which back then was a huge part of the Halo brand. Not only that, but it was like one of the first games I actually kind of integrated other platforms into the game as well. Like nowadays, you see games that are like, oh, we have our companion app that you can use for the game. Now, Halo 3 really was the first one to do that because you, you can go on the Bungie website at the time and you can view your favorite clips, your favorite, you can download maps straight from the website and just you can create a whole community just around the experience of playing Halo, which I thought was just fantastic. You can share screenshots as well. And it was just a great way to connect with other players. There's forums on there. You can you know voice what's going on with the game. If you think something needs to be fixed or anything in between, especially back then in the era where before like social media was a thing, there was no Twitter back in the day. There was no YouTube when this, well, there actually was YouTube when this game was released, but it was so, like not really part of the social norms that uh, well, it really didn't really have a prominence. The Halo 3 wasn't really featured much on the website of YouTube. So that's another way of to innovate the game as well to kind of give you, make it much more than just what the game itself, but have it be part of like a really like a sense of community, which everyone tries to say nowadays that they are a part of, which sometimes a game can create that. And I think Halo does have a community around it. And I think it's absolutely fantastic that it does. When you say Call of Duty has a community, I'm like, mm, I don't really see a community around that game. I see just a bunch of people who like playing the game. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about where like Halo 3 definitely changed a lot of things in Halo for good or better depending on your opinion it's all really kind of subjective of how you like your halo rather than objective and obviously they kept the battle rifle which is a classic gun and obviously something that needs to be in every halo oh here's another thing right here the uh plasma pistol got a huge nerf for back then it was considered like a new combo using the plasma pistol battle rifle now it's just a regular gun i mean obviously it's good it's like i say as good as like a power weapon to have but it's definitely not overpowered like it was back in halo 2 and that's just one of the main things that you know Bungie addressed in their game. Oh my god, I thought I can get the punch melee on that guy, but not happening. But Hazel 3 was also just a huge moment in just gaming culture as well. Um, I remember it, out selling, it was like one of those times where like outside a movie was like a big deal to happen to video games. Uh, Halo 3 was, oh my god, look at this guy, this Comcast strafe. Look at this. That Comcast certified strafe. Dude, you need to figure out your connection. I mean, this game was absolutely huge to competitive gaming as well. I mean, that's the first time you had like live events showcasing video games, which was freaking awesome. I think there were even some things featured on ESPN, which is kind of nutty for you think back in the day, back in like 2007 to 2009 era, that, you know, video games were being featured on a sport, a legit sports channel. So yeah, I feel like the biggest thing about this game was just, just the community and like the the stuff around the game too is probably bigger than the game itself and it just the Halo franchise really peaked when Halo 3 was released as you can tell just because you know people still talk about it to this day Halo 3 is clearly the most played MCC game uh, just because well they if you ever seen like the playlist which I mentioned in the previous video there's like four dedicated 
Halo 3 playlist where everyone, all the other games get like one, maybe two. And just the great thing about Halo 3 is that this game is something you can play casually and really enjoy. And a game you can play competitively and really enjoy as well. I'll get this guy right here. I got gotcha. you. Oh, there's a sniper here. Can we grab it? Yes, we can. can. Get a couple more snapshots before this game ends. Hopefully, we have two more kills left before we get the win. Oh, there we go. We got the headshot. Oh, that felt good. Especially getting a headshot in Halo 3. You're like, oh, that was super rewarding because it's not easy to do that with a sniper rifle in this game. But we got the win. So overall, Halo 3 is, of course, an amazing game. Now, how does it hold up to 2018 standards? I'd say that the game probably feels a bit floaty. A lot as floaty as CE, but not as snappy as it was back for the Halo 2. So kind of that little middle range in between there. So that's probably one thing I'd say. The game needs to feel a bit snappier, a bit more responsive when it comes to like dealing out damage. I don't feel like I'm hitting them as hard as I was back in Halo 2. Now, if we were to see Halo 3 released in 2018, my assumption is that you probably see a move to hit scan and weaponry like you see in Halo 5 and Halo 2 and Halo 4 as well. This will have it be a little more snappy to the gameplay. Like I keep even saying that word, but it's really the best way to feel it. Like it's just, you gotta feel it when you play it. You probably see hit markers because every game needs it apparently, even though I highly disagree that when it comes to Halo. You'd probably see the movement speed a little bit faster as well. Like they did with the MLG play, it's bumped up to 110%. They said that was perfect. I would agree with that as well. I think the weapon balancing and timing is a lot better as well in this game, even though I do feel like some weapons got a little too nerfed. But I think the share, I think the spawning of power-ups and power weapons was much more balanced in this game. So you see a lot more regular battle rifle-like gun and the power weapons there are more to kind of lift up in specific situations to kind of shift the tides in your favor if you got the right weapon at the right time. So Halo 3 was really just a mythical game. It was so important to the gaming community to really kind of push games forward though with an amazing campaign, solid multiplayer that kind of cleaned up a lot of issues that were in Halo 2. You had Forge as well, which is just absolutely huge for the custom games community, which was absolutely one of those things when it comes to playing Halo that people love playing custom games and the Forge amplified that by 10. And you added in theater mode. Now on top of that, you had integration with the website. So was, I think it's one of the first games I've ever played, at least in my experience, to have websites that are tied with the game as well. So have multiple platforms to help create a community around it as well, to share content, share experiences, and you know play with other people as well. So Halo 3, does it hold up in 2018? With some minor changes, I'd say yeah. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, want to see some more like that, leave, make sure to leave a like on the video as it greatly helps out the video and the channel and makes really know you want to see more content like this as well, leave a comment what your thoughts on Halo 3 and what your story is behind this game because I do like reading all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, want to see some more content or stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap the subscribe button because we're uploading awesomeness all the time on this channel. So I greatly appreciate you guys coming by. Check out the videos on the screen right now if you missed any content from me and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.